there. Welcome to Oil for the Journey. My name is Stephanie. I'm going to be your journey reader today. Uh, we are reading from uh, Ezekiel and the chapter is 27 through 29. And this reading does follow the uh, Bridges for Peace Ignite the True Bible and uh, Ignite the Truth Bible reading plan. Um, so we are just going to go ahead and get started where we left off yesterday. And I'll go ahead and open us up in prayer. Heavenly Father, we just thank you so much for this day, Lord. I thank you for those who are joining us and um, reading your word daily with us, Lord. I just pray that you bless them. Um, thank you for them. Thank you for their heart to serve, Lord, um, and to get to know you better. And I just pray, Lord, that um, through this reading that you speak to us and you open up our ears, our hearts, um, to hear what it is you have to say to us today, Lord. And with all of that, we ask that in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, well, let's get started. Ezekiel 27. The word of the Lord came again to me, saying, now, son of man, take up a lamentation for Tyre, and say to Tyre, You who are situated at the entrance of the sea, merchant of the peoples, on my coastlands, thus says the Lord, O oh, Tyre, you have said, I am perfect in beauty, your borders are in the midst of the seas, your builders have perfected your beauty, they have made all your planks of fir trees from Sinir. They took a cedar from Lebanon to make you a mast. Of oaks from Bashan, they made your oars. The company of the Asherites have inlaid your planks with ivory from the coast of Cyprus. Fine embroidered linen from Egypt was what you spread for your soil, for your sail. Blue and purple from the coast of Elisha was what covered you. Inhabitants of Sidon and Arvad were your oarsmen. Your wise men, O Tyre, were in you. They became your pilots. Elders of Gabal and its wise men were in you to caulk your seams. All the ships of the sea and their oarsmen were in you to market your merchandise. Those from Persia, Lydia, and Libya were in your army as men of war. They hung shield and helmet with helmet in you. They gave splendor to you. Men of Arvad with your army were on the walls all around, and the men of Gamad were in your towers. They hung their shields on your walls all around. They made your beauty perfect. Tarshish was your merchant because of your many luxury goods. They gave you silver, iron, tin, and lead for your goods. Javan Tubal and Meshach were your traders. They bartered human lives and vessels of bronze for your merchandise. Those from the house of Togo Togorama traded for your wares with horses, steeds, and mules. The men of Dedan were your traders. Many isles were the market of your hand. They brought you ivory tusks and ebony as payment. Syria was your merchant because of the abundance of goods you made. They gave you for the wares emeralds, purple, embroidery, fine linen, co corals, and rubies. Judah and the island of Judah and the land of Israel were your traders. They traded for your merchandise wheat of minneth, millet, honey oil, and balm. Damascus was your merchant because of the abundance of goods you made because of your luxury items with the wine of Halbin and the white wool. Dan and Javan paid for your wares, traversing back and forth. Wrought iron, cassia, and cane were among your merchandise. Dedan was the merchant of in saddlecloths for writing. Arabia and all the princes of Kedar were your regular merchants. They traded with you the lambs, rams, and goats. The merchants of Sheba and Ramah were your merchants. They traded for your wares and the choicest, choicest spices, all kinds of precious stones and gold. Haran, Kene, Eden, the merchants of Sheba, Assyria, and Chilmad were your merchants. 
They were your merchants and choice items, in purple cloths and embroidered garments, in chests of multicolored apparel, and sturdy woven cords which were in your marketplace. The ships of the Tarshish, uh, the ships of Tarshish were carriers of your merchandise. You were filled with very glorious. You were filled and very glorious in the midst of the seas. Your oarsmen brought you into many waters, but the east wind broke you in the midst of the seas. Your riches, wares, and merchandise, your mariners and pilots, your caulkers, your merchandisers, all of your men of war who are in you, in the entire company, which is in your midst, will fall into the midst of the sea on the day of your ruin. The common land will shake at the sound of the cry of your pilots. All who handle the oar, the mariners, all the pilots of the sea, will come down from their ships and stand on the shore. They will make their voice heard because of you. They will cry bitterly and cast dust on their heads. They will roll about in ashes. They will shave themselves completely bald because of you. Gird themselves with sackcloth and weep for you with bitterness of heart and bitter wailing. In their wailing for you, they will take up a lamentation and lament for you. What city is like Tyre, destroyed in the midst of the sea? When your wares went out by sea, you satisfied many people. You enriched the kings of the earth and your many luxury goods and your merchandise. But you are broken by the seas in the depths of the waters. Your merchandise and the entire company will fall in your midst, and all the inhabitants of the isles will be asto astonished at you. Their kings will be greatly afraid, and their, count their countenance will be troubled. The merchants among the peoples will hiss at you, and you will become a horror and be no more forever. The word of the Lord came to me again, saying, Son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord God, because your heart is lifted up and you say, I am God, I sit in the seats of God, in the midst of the seas, <clears throat> yet you are a man and not a God. Though you set your heart as the heart of a God, behold, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that can be hidden from you. With your wisdom and your understanding, you have gained riches for yourself and gathered gold and silver into your treasuries. By your great wisdom and trade, you have increased your riches and your heart is lifted up because of your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have set your heart on the heart of, the, of a God, behold, therefore, I will bring strangers against you, the most terrible of the nations, and they shall draw their swords against the beauty of the wisdom, of your wisdom, and defile your splendor. They shall throw you down into the pit, and you shall die the death of the slain in the midst of the seas. You will still say before him who slays you, I am a God, but you shall be a man and not a God in the hand of him who slays you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised by the hand of aliens, for I have spoken, says the Lord God. <clears throat> Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, Take up a lamentation for the king of Tyre, and say to him, Thus says the Lord God, You were the seal of perfection, full of wisdom and perfect in beauty. You were in Eden, the garden of God. Every precious stone was your covering. The sardius, topaz, diamond, beryl, onyx, and jasper, sapphire, turquoise, and the emerald with gold. The workmanship of your timbrels, timbrels and pipes was prepared for you on the day you were created. You were the anointed, cherub who covers, I established you. You were on the holy mountain of God. You walked back and forth in the midst of fiery stones. You were perfect in your ways from the day you were created. Till iniquity has found you. Till iniquity was found in you. By the abundance of your trading, you became filled with violence within and you've sinned, therefore I cast you as a profane thing out of the mountain of God, 
and I destroyed you, O covering cherub, from the midst of the fiery stones. Your heart was lifted up because of your beauty. You cre corrupted your wisdom for the sake of your splendor. I cast you to the ground. I laid you before kings that they might gaze at you. You defiled your sanctuaries by the, mul by the multitude of your iniquities, by the iniquity of your trading. Therefore, I brought fire from your midst. I devoured you, and I turned you to ashes upon the earth. In the sight of all who saw you, all who knew you among the peoples are astonished by astonished at you you have become a horror and shall be no more forever then the word of the lord came to me saying son of man set your face towards sidon the prophecy against against her and say thus says the lord god behold i am against you o sidon i will be glorified in your midst and they shall know that i am the lord when I execute judgments in her and am hollowed in her, for I will send pestilence upon her, the blood in the streets, the wounded shall be judged in her midst by the sword against her on every side. They shall, then they shall know that I am God. I am the Lord. And there shall no longer be a pricking briar or a painful thorn for the house of Israel is among all who are around them, who despise them. Then they shall know that I am the Lord God. Thus says the Lord God, <clears throat> When I have gathered the house of Israel from the peoples among them, who, among who they are scattered, and am hollowed in them in the sight of the Gentiles, <clears throat> then they will dwell in their own land, which I have gave to my servant Jacob. And they will dwell safely there, build houses, and plant vineyards. Yes, they will dwell securely when I execute judgments on all those around them who despise them. Then they shall know that I am the Lord their God. In the tenth year, in the tenth month, on the twelfth day of the month, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face against Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and prophesy against him. And against all of Egypt speak and say thus says the Lord God behold I am against you O Pharaoh king of Egypt O great monster who lies in the midst of the rivers who has said my river is my own I have made it for myself but I will put hooks in your jaws and cause a fish of your rivers to stick to your scales I will bring you up out of the midst of the rivers, and all the fish in your rivers will stick to your scales. I will leave you in the wilderness, you and all the fish of your rivers. You shall fall on the open fields, and you shall not be picked up or gathered. I have given you as food to the beasts of the fields and to the birds of the heavens. Then all the inhabitants of Egypt shall know that I am the Lord, because they have been a staff of reed to the house of Israel. When they took hold of you with their hand, with the hand, you broke and tore all their shoulders. When they leaned on you, you broke and made all their backs quiver. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, surely I will bring a sword upon you and cut off from you the you man and beast and the land of Egypt shall become desolate and waste and they know they will know that I am the Lord because he said the river is mine and I have made it indeed therefore I am against you and against your rivers and I will make the land of Egypt utterly waste and desolate from Migdal to Syene as far as the border of Ethiopia Neither foot of man shall pass through it, or foot of beast shall pass through it, and it shall be uninhabited forty years. I will make the land of Egypt desolate in the midst of the countries that are desolate, and among, among the cities that are laid waste. Her cities shall be desolate forty years, and I will scatter the Egyptians among the nations and disperse them throughout the countries. 
Yet thus says the Lord God, At the end of the forty years, I will gather the Egyptians from the peoples among them who were scattered. I will bring back the captives of Egypt and cause them to return to the land of Pathros, to the land of their origin, and there they shall be a lowly kingdom. It shall be the lowliest of the kingdoms, and shall never again exalt itself above the nations, for I will diminish them so that they will not rule over the nations any more. No longer should it be the confidence of the house of Israel, but will remain, remind them of their iniquity that they turned to follow them. When they turned to follow them, then they shall know that I am the Lord God. And it came to pass in the 27th year, in the first month, on the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man, Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, caused his army to labor strenuously against Tyre. Every head was made bald, and every shoulder rubbed raw. Yet neither he nor his army received wages from Tyre for the labor which they expand, expended on it. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, Surely I will give the land of Egypt to Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon. He shall take away their wealth, carry off their spoil, and, re and remove their pillage. Her pillage and that will be the wages for his army I have given them I have given him the land of Egypt for his labor because they worked for me says the Lord God and the and that day I will cause a horn of the house of Israel to spring forth and I will open your mouths to speak in the midst then they shall know that I am the Lord all right, well, that concludes the reading for today. Thank you so much for joining me. I pray that um, the Lord spoke to you during this time and that you'll be with us next time. All right, take care. Bye-bye.